Now this is the 2002 World Cup final ball just sent in from Austria for repair. The bladder obviously has punctured. As I said it's just arrived from Austria. So it's an Austria Vienna player who owns the ball and who needs a new bladder inserting. So obviously I'm going to have to be very very careful because obviously it's precious to him and it's a, a unique football being the one used as I said in the 2002 World Cup final. So I'll have to be very careful and make sure we do a good job. Now as you can see I have now gently opened the ball up so we can get access to the bladder. I've opened it on three panels Actually, this, uh, this ball that was used in the 2002 World Cup was a pretty good ball. So uh, we'll now take out the bladder. Now there, as you can see, that's the bladder taken out. Um, obviously it's got a massive rip in it. So there's no way we can repair that bladder. It means inserting a new one. I'll just open it up. Put my hand inside the, the actual bladder itself. Now there's a, a fun video on YouTube with a chap curing a, a punch of bladder with an egg. I'm afraid you'll need about three dozen eggs to cure that one. But uh, nevertheless we'll put a new bladder in and uh, get it back to Austria as soon as possible. Right, I've checked the bladder uh, for thorns and I've checked the football for thorns. There are none at all. What's happened to this bladder? Uh, because it's 10 years old, it has started to perish. Um, you can see it's probably going, as you can probably see, it's going on all seams. And that's what's, uh, what's caused it to open up. You can probably see on, on there, all the seams are going there. And that uh, seems to be going all the way around, as you can see. Various pa panels. That's just wear and tear on the bladder. Just over the years, it's just the rubber has just perished away. Normally, a bladder. Uh, I've got bladders in that are 30 years old that are still all right. And as I said, this is only 10. But having said that, this is a latex bladder and not a rugby. A uh, rubber bladder. So as I say, you can see where it's it's going on practically every panel, and that is uh, what's caused the original puncture. See, it's going on practically every panel there now. So at least we know there's no thorn in. So all we have to do now is just uh, insert a new bladder and the ball should be as good as new. Right, I've now glued the bladder, the top of the bladder and also the inside of the football. So we're just waiting now for the glue to get a little bit tacky and then I can put it inside the football. Once I've got it inside the football I will then inflate the ball, leave it on test for at least a half an hour just to make sure that the blood is sound and then we can finish the repair. Right, I have now inserted the bladder inside the football, stuck it down and inflated the ball. So as you can see I've blown it up and there's the bladder protruding through the four panels or three panels so I'll leave that on test for half an hour just to make sure that it's sound and the bladder doesn't go down I know it doesn't it won't but just to be on the safe side I'll leave it for about 30 minutes obviously there's no bladder no panel there no thorns in it I have checked but you never know sometimes a thorn can stay just between the stitches and you can't feel it by your fingers. So if there is a thorn in, 
then obviously the bladder will deflate but uh, obviously I know that it won't but just to be on the safe side we'll leave it for 30 minutes and then we'll finish the repair so what we'll do now we will let the ball down it's been on test for at least half an hour so uh, I'll dip the needle into the washing up liquid and insert it into the neck of the ball, valve you can probably hear the air coming out we'll watch the bladder deflate It's going down slowly. There she goes, a perfect bladder in there now, I can put my hands inside and squeeze it so I get all the air out, squeeze it with my knees, that's where I've got it between my knees now. Once all the air is out, I can then proceed to finish the repair off. It's almost depleted. And in less than 10 minutes, the ball will be as good as new. Ready. Well, obviously, they would, this ball will not be used for a match because it's uh, the 2002 World Cup final ball. But obviously, it'll be a cherished memento for someone in Austria. Well, there we have the 2002 World Cup final ball up and running again, ready to be played with. I don't think it will be. It'll sit on someone's shelf with pride. But at least it's fully inflated. That's got a brand new bladder in, so that should last between 10 and 20 years without having to have another one. And tomorrow morning it will be in the post, airmail, back to Austria. So that is the 2002 World Cup final ball. The Fever Nova, Adidas Fever Nova, that was used in the 19, oh, sorry, in the 2002 World Cup final. The Fever Nova, that was a decent ball. Unlike some of the rubbish that Adidas are making at the moment, more like beach balls rather than footballs. But that is up to FIFA. Obviously someone's uh, getting a backhander.
So now the fever nova is going back to Austria.